How you guys doing? Brown Man back, and today I'm going to show you how to get the sneaky little buggers achievement and the Borderlands DLC Secret Armory of General Knox. Now you have to kill five midgets, the loot midgets, and the first one is Meat Popsicle and T-Bone Junction. Now before you even attempt this, I recommend you're at max level being 61 because the, the loot midgets are high level. I think this one and another one is level 61, there's another one that's 58, so if you go there at level 50, it's going to be pretty embarrassing that a midget popping out of like a vending machine is going to annihilate you. So play the story, do all the side quests or whatever, get to level 61 so this is much, much easier. So the first one, you run all the way down this little underground area. You push this little hidden button here. I'll show where it is on the map. About right there. And once you press it, you go on the other side, just around the building. Show that where that is on the map. Open the door, you got a little, you know, little pimpy area here. Open the refrigerator, holy shit, he pops cool. And he, she's just like uh, any other midget, he's just gonna run rampant. Uh, my partner Hurricane Ham wisely drops a turret so it keeps him contained in the room. I just shoot him up, and uh, that's it. Hammy levels up, and uh, he introduces his nuts to his face. Righto. Next one. Oh, excuse me. The next midget is in Roadblock, and his name is Crimson Shorty. And, uh, here's Road's End. Or, excuse me, yeah, Road's End. I said Roadblock, didn't I? Yeah, sorry about that. As you can see, we're all the way at the bottom of the map, which is pretty much where the armory is and where you fight, uh, General Knox. So you want to go here, and you want to fight through all these, um, these Lance troops. And they're, uh, they're pretty annoying. You'll see me and Hammy die countless times here, even though I'm level 61 and he's level 58. So, uh... It's, uh, it's a little challenging, but good place to uh, grind for XP if you really wanted to. So, plowing through these guys, no problem here. And then uh, Hammy goes down. I think I go down again. But, um, yeah. So I'm speeding this up. Get it out of the way. Now, another thing I've heard is some people have found um, the midgets in other places. Like, I think somebody found Meat Popsicle in the uh, Lockdown Palace. And somebody told me they found the third one, which will be coming later, Mini Steve, somewhere else. I'm not sure if that's 100% true or not. I'm just showing you where I found them and where people for sure have found them. Like, these these spots are um, are definitely the right spots. So after I clear all those guys up, you're going to come to this little uh, weapons chest over here in this corner. I'll show you where it is on the map. Right there. Before I open it, let me just take care of this badass chemical trooper that's being a pain in my balls. Just uh, keep shooting on him. Badass or not, I can take him single-handedly because I'm a beast. And uh, once again, that's where it is. Open the chest, and uh, here it comes. Woohoo! And we're just going to light him up. Once again, no problem. Now, I had the achievement already, but Hammy did not. And as long as he's in your party, or whoever you want to get the achievement for, whether it be three people or just you, they don't need to shoot it or anything specific like that. As long as they're with you and you kill them, you get the achievement. Alright, third one we're going for is Mini Steve, and we are in the Deep Fathom, or Deep Fathoms. I gotta, gotta fix that. Anyway, it's this little, uh, cave area here. It's, uh, protected by skags, and then there's this little, uh, base area here, so fight through the skags. Even though they're skags, they're level 60, and they will kill you, so be careful. But um, the area we're coming on to now, you go a little, you go left here, and there's like a little, like I said, base. But the first time when I did to get my achievement, he was in a different chest. He was actually in a locker. And this time around, you'll see he's in a chest. So the areas I'm showing you, the um, the midgets are there 100%, but they may be in a different spot or a chest or locker. So if you're if you're watching the video and you check the chest, I show you, and he's not there check any chest or lockers around the area and I assure you he will pop up. So here you go, I'm scurrying around looking for where the hell he is. Thinking we're at a chest and then I find this uh this convenient little ramp. Not here. He's not in this building, but uh right there. Like he has to be here. Last chest and holy shit there he is. And once again, you just light him up. That one was surprisingly easy. I think it was a lower level. That's where the chest was by the way right there and uh, yeah we're done 
fourth one and my favorite loot midget is the Truxican Wrestler. And this is in Lockdown Palace, which is the prison area where you gotta take a ramp to get to. Just in case you're not familiar on how to do it, I'm gonna show you. And I overshoot the jump. Pretty much you wanna take a racer, and a racer is the only vehicle I think will make that jump. And jump through that hole in the wall. Watch out for the mine, like I clearly did not. And we're gonna boost, and I'm gonna go right off in the dual barrel roll. And I missed again. Don't worry, I get it the third time, I promise you. I'm not going to waste all your time watching me constantly fail in the racer. But you want to find this place. This is in the sunken sea where this ramp is. So you jump up, go through the hole. I barely clear it. You drive, uh, drive up this little highway ramp here. Do, 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 going up a ramp. And where you see this little lighthousey thing. That's where the prison is. It's not that simple to get to. Drive over this little platform. Hurricane Ham is going to demonstrate how we do it. And you pretty much got to jump that ramp over the prison walls to the Lockdown Palace. So I'm going to try and attempt this in one take. Because it would be embarrassing if I miss. Because i got to do all that driving again. But luckily, go back as far as you can. Boost. Control it. Hit the jump. And there we go. Woohoo! So... Run over that guy. And uh, pro tip, before you go into a new area, you must revive all your allies. I didn't know that till now. So, go assist my buddy Hurricane Ham here. Do, 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 do. And uh, just kill this guy because he's annoying. And then you enter the Lockdown Palace. And, uh, oh, that's where the Lockdown Palace is, by the way. Now the reason I left all this in and didn't do any like, you know, super speed or anything is because the Truxican Wrestler is pretty much at the start and I completely forgot about that. So you'll see here when I open a locker and he appears, I actually jump back with my character, which is kind of funny. Because I was just looting these lockers, not knowing he was this early on into the, uh, into the palace. By the way, Lockdown Palace, great place to grind out XP. You see he appears there and I, I jump back, I'm like, oh god. But this is my favorite. This is my favorite midget because he's dressed like a luchador with uh, dreadlocks. I mean, how awesome is that? Luchador with dreadlocks in a locker, loot shit. Can't go wrong. But he's an easy one. The final one is a little confusing. So here we are, still at the sunken sea. You want to come to this little area, this little house, makeshift house. <coughs> Excuse me, and you want to go in there and you want to talk to this midget. He's not hostile, he gives you a secret quest. There's two quests you do. The first one you do has nothing to do with the um, with the last midget. The second one you do, it he tells you to come to the Ridgeway, where you have to take out a mini boss called Motorhead. So, go there, do his first quest, go back, return it, do the second quest, and then we'll go for the last one, Dumpster Diver in the Ridgeway. Now, you have to go down that little, like, circle down rampy area, and, uh, yeah, you don't want to get killed. That's bad stuff. So, avoid all the lance probes and all the goddamn vehicles that are there, Crimson Lancers. And you want to take a long walk down this ramp. And I'm fast forwarding all this because there's a little bit of, uh, mayhem going on with lance probes and people getting lost, but you'll fight Motorhead. Like I said, this is the second time I'm doing this because I have the achievement already. So, you want to light him up, and Dumpster Diver is a little easier to find in here, because he's obviously going to be in a dumpster. Me, like a complete noob, can't find the dumpster, even though you just saw it was directly in front of me. When I did it, it was to the right of me, so I was kind of panicking, I'm like, oh shit, where is this guy? Don't tell me I filmed all this, and I uh, can't find the last one. But, after clearing out all the baddies and coming back down here and reevaluating the room one last time, I'm like, hmm, where can this dumpster be? It's not to the left. It's not in this box. Uh, don't see it. Maybe it's up the stairs. No, well, what's going on over there? And oh, there's the dumpster. Dial dumpster. Open it up. Dumpster diver. Level 58. Just shoot him in the face constantly. Reload. Sh keep shooting him in the face. And that is it. Once you kill the final one, you will get your achievement. There you go, guys. All five sneaky little buggers. And as always, achievementhunter.com, I got one video left to kill that invincible crab thing. Woo!